game is called uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So one person is going to be giving good advice, one person is going to be giving bad advice, and one person is going to just be giving really bad, ugly advice. Uh, and uh, you know they're not they're not doing this as themselves. They're all going to have characters, and they're going to make sure we know who they are. Uh, and it's really going to be at least for one of the questions, we're going to get them uh, from the audience, right? So we'll just. Just have you raise your hand and, and ask uh, something you'd like some advice on. Uh, it could be really simple. Uh, how do I get my kids to clean their room? Uh, it could be a little more complicated if you want, but it uh, doesn't have to be that crazy. Uh, yeah, sir. What age should I let my son have a tattoo? All right. <laughs> let's, let's hear it for them. <laughs> well, hello. I'm Daisy Sunshine. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Carlos. Carlos. Oh, what a beautiful name. It just <laughs> rings. Carlos. So, Carlos, I am a nutritionist. And I am so in tune with nature. And so, a child getting ink that's natural from the earth, um, that sounds like a wonderful plan. But you're going to want to wait until his body is grown to full size, or else it'll just look so tiny. So I'm thinking when he's 18, make sure it's plant-based and organic. <laughs> I think 18 would be the perfect age for him or her to get a tattoo. <laughs> uh, Sacramento Jones. <laughs> LAPD, uh, homicide. I'd say, uh, how long has he been in your custody? Four years. Four years? Okay, so he's been in and out. In and out of juvie here and there. I can take it. <laughs> Most of the guys that I deal with get their ink around about 14, but that's because they're in the system. Now, your kid, he sounds like a lightweight. Maybe let him go in when he's 22. Or when he gets his first tear. Because <laughs> they don't tend to count those as real ink. That's just part of the body. Sacramento Jones. <laughs> Name is Blaze. Oh. <sighs> best way, best time to give your kid a tattoo. Give it the day, give it the day after they're born. It go, give it to them, it'll last for the rest of their life. That's how you. That's my best way to give a kid a tattoo. <laughs> Actually, who else has a question? Yes. What kind of insurance should I get? <laughs> <laughs> what was your name, sir? John. John, welcome. Churros. Oh, I'm Sunshine Rain, nutritionist. <laughs> um, churros are not usually on the healthy list, um, but in moderation. I would suggest the best kind is, of course, gluten-free. <coughs> um, and of course, you're gonna want everything organic in it. Um, we wouldn't want any pesticides going into our temple. <laughs> so, if you can get it gluten-free, and you can get it organically raised, and hopefully, of course, no GMOs. Um, if you can make sure that that's what's going on, then I suggest a plain one with just cinnamon. <laughs> no sugar, no sugar. Good luck, enjoy your trip. Sounds delicious. Sacramento Jones, LAPD, <laughs> homicide. Uh, what's your SES? <laughs> Socioeconomic status. <laughs> couple churros. Hmm. We're talking Beverly Hills or we're talking downtown? In between. All right. Now, Hamper Man. All right. Depends on what corner you go to. Simply put it this way, how do you usually get it? 
<laughs> is it fried or is it baked? It's usually a bad. You see, you're what we call at the precincts a scumbag. <laughs> we give you A and B, and all of a sudden C comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Ma'am? He's a human being. He's a scumbag. <laughs> Listen. His name's John. I don't care what his name is. <laughs> With your SES of four futures a week in Alhambra. <laughs> Let's see, if you're near Cal State, LA, uh, I'd probably go, I'd probably just eat the dirt. Because you are a scumbag and you don't deserve germs! That is very natural, so I, I, I second that. You want to know the best churro? Name's Blaze, by, by the way, if you forgot. You want the best churros? Get them in LA. Extra cinnamony, doughy, and they're only a dollar. The best. Nice. It's hideous. Absolutely <laughs> hideous. All right, one more question. Should I store Area 51? <laughs> yes. Uh, one more time for him, please. Should I storm Area 51? <laughs> Sunshine rain. Um, storm it? Well, that sounds very natural. So I think storming the area um, in a very nonviolent way, um, surround it. Come with love filled in your heart. Uh, no weapons, no cameras, just love from within. And ask those questions. Is it organic? Is it good for me? Is it going to make me grow as a person? And if you can answer those questions, then go with a gentle breeze. Maybe not a storm. Good luck. What was your name? Carissa. Oh, Carissa, you're lovely. <laughs> Sacramento Jones, you know the deal by now. <laughs> <laughs> they, got a, they got a date place for this storming, right? Mm -hmm. Is what you do. I got a buddy, he, he used to be pretty high up there. He knows the area. <laughs> pretty well. He said, with this million plus people saying they're gonna storm it, 500,000 show up. 500,000 ain't gonna leave, I'll tell you that much. So you go the day after, all right? <laughs> Everybody's gonna be a little more relaxed after that. <laughs> Sack man out. <laughs> Blaze, name's Blaze. Stormin' Area 51 is what we're, what you gotta do. Surround the place, it's time we question, time the government starts asking, where are those aliens? And storm, storm it, fight them. Let's see, let's see if we are alone in the universe. Yeah. <laughs>